After the NEET MBS results, we've got a lot of questions about what next after NEET MDS. And many of them are from people who are unsuccessful in getting the score they wanted. So they have asked a lot of questions. Some of those questions include Number one, should I get into a private college if I am not able to get a seat in a government college? Number two, should I opt for a non-clinical field if clinical branch is not an option? Number three, I haven't scored well, so should I give NEET MDS another attempt? And number four, will I be successful if I am not an MDS dentist? In today's video, we are going to answer these four questions. If you are interested, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Why are we creating this video is because after NEET MDS, we have seen a lot of videos focused on the successful aspirants and not many answering the problems of students who have not scored as much as they wanted. So in today's video, we are going to answer these questions. So moving on to the first question, should I get into a private college? The answer includes two aspects in it. The first aspect is the college aspect and second is the financial aspect. If you have seen our video, how to select your MBS college, you might have realized the points you need to consider. If you are not, first go and see that video. Now, you will find a lot of private colleges in which you have patients, you have amazing staff as well as equipment. You will find few government colleges in which one of these are missing. Yes, they might have a lot of patients, but having a lot of patients is not the only criteria to help you improve as a clinical dentist. So while selecting an MBS college, it really does not matter whether it's a private college or a government college. What matters is when you graduate out, you have learned all the skills required in that particular field. The second aspect of joining a private MDS college is the financial aspect. If you have enough funds to get you into that college and you are sure once you graduate, you will be able to recoup all the money you have invested in. Yes, then it is a really good option. But there will be a few of you who would require to take a loan to get into a private MDS college. If you fall in that bracket, we have made an entire video stating whether you should take a loan for getting into MDS. Do check that video out. Now that you are sure about getting into a private college or a government college, the next question is whether you should select a non-clinical field if clinical branch is not available. If you have seen all our previous videos, you might have realized we always ask you to think what next before selecting anything in dentistry. Similarly, if you select a non-clinical branch, what is your plan after you graduate? Do you think you will get job in an academic college? To be honest, currently the jobs are in a shortfall. If not a job, what is your other option? If you do in oral medicine, oral radiology, are you planning to put a CBCT center of your own? Or are you planning to get into orofacial pain? As an oral pathologist, do you plan to put a dental path lab of your own? Do you think by doing these things, you will be able to recover the money, the time and the effort you are putting in these three years? So before deciding whether you need to get into a non-clinical field, think what you are going to do of the degree. That is what matters. If you are not sure that you are going to in any way benefit from an MDS degree in a non-clinical field, do not opt for it. But if you are sure 
that you will make the best use of the degree and you know how to do it, then go ahead and do it. The third question is, if I do not get into MDS this year, should I study one more year and give NEET MDS a second attempt? The answer is basically dependent on two points. First is whether MDS suits you. For that, check out our video, MDS to do or not to do. See that whether all the points of doing MDS suits you well. If you feel MDS is the best option from you and you will be able to make the most out of the degree, then go ahead and give it a second attempt. But in this case, there are two other aspects you need to consider. First is the financial and family support and second competence. In financial and family support, if you have their backing, go ahead, give it a second attempt. The next thing is the competence. Why giving your exam again? Do you think you'll be able to crack the NEAT MDS? If you have doubts and are not sure, spend time thinking about it. If you're confident, yes, go ahead and give the NEAT MDS a second attempt. Before moving on to the fourth question about can you be successful as a BDS dentist in this field, I request you to hit the like button. If even one of your questions have been answered. Second, I'm sure you're subscribed to our channel because we keep on coming up with content to help you in each and every stage of your career in dentistry. The fourth question is, can I be successful in the field of dentistry as a BDS without an MDS degree? The answer is, of course you can. Dentistry as a profession gives you the freedom to do a majority of treatments, whether it is root canals or implants or surgeries as a BDS dentist. You do not need an MDS degree to do those. It depends on the clinical skills you have and the patient management skills you learn as you do a lot of cases. That is what decides whether you'll be successful as a dentist. If you go through Facebook, you'll see a lot of successful BDS graduates who are amazing at their clinical skills, whether it is implants or root canals or aesthetic dentistry. Yes, having an MDS degree helps you to go more in depth about a particular subject and field. But if you have the focus and the perseverance, you do not need a degree to be successful. Remember, it is not the degree which makes you successful. It is what you do of the degree that does. I hope you have got the answers to your queries in this video. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.